Hello guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I think you remember I started one project called Facial Emotion Detection. So in my last video, I showed you uh, what is Facial Emotion Detection exactly and what is the drawbacks actually, uh, uh, I mean, whenever we are detect uh, using the detection model. And I've already told you, uh, in future, whenever we'll be creating this project in a production, we'll try to use the Facial Embedding model, okay. So here we'll try to use the YOLO 11 for the detection uh, task. Okay. And I already showed you the data set. So this data set actually we will we, uh, we'll be using. Okay. And here I have already prepared one training notebook. So here we'll try to see the entire uh, like training step, how we can do the training. Okay. Uh, and I've already added the data link um, and all the resources would be shared in the description from there you can download. So first of all, what you have to do, just try to connect your notebook with the GPU. So I'm using Colab Pro, that's why I'm having A100 GPU. But if you're using uh, free Colab, that time you can use the T4 GPU, okay? Now let me connect my notebook. Okay, my notebook is connected. Now, if you want to check the GPU, so you can execute this command. So here you can see I got A100 GPU. Now the first thing you have to install the Alteralytics because I think you know, uh, if I want to use YOLO 11, I have to install this package, okay, Alteralytics, because YOLO 11 is available inside Alteralytics. And this is the GitHub of Alteralytics. So simply just search for YOLO 11 GitHub. So you'll see that it is available inside Alteralytics, okay? That's why we have to install the Alteralytics. So they have already given the command. Fine. Now, after that, if I show you the Alteralytics version and the Python version, because I need it uh, whenever we'll be doing the local setup, that time I need this version actually. Let me show you. So you can see I need to use Python uh, 3.10 environment, okay, that time. And this is the Alteralytics version. Now let me import some of the necessary library. Then after that, we'll be downloading the data from the RoboFlow. So what you can do, either you can upload that zip file you have downloaded in the last video, or you can directly download the data like that. So just click on download data set, click on the show code, continue. And there you will get a code snippet, just try to copy and just paste it here, okay. Now if I execute, you'll see that automatically, it will download the data from the RoboFlow universe, okay? So that's how guys, RoboFlow makes uh, most of the task easy, okay? Now it is in the computer vision. That's why I personally prefer a lot. If you want to see the data location, see this is the data location, got it. Now we'll start the training, okay? And I think you know, if I am using YOLO 11, it's like very easy to set up, okay? So you don't need to do so many configuration. Now see, we can directly start the training, but before that, you have to set the data location. So open up the data.yaml file, now inside that you can see these are the location I have to change. So let's me change. So let me first of all open the train, copy the image path and try to replace here. Okay, similar wise I will do for the validation. So copy and paste. Then I will do it for my testing. Okay, so copy, just a minute, copy and try to mention it here. That's it. Now just try to press Ctrl S and close it. And after that, we can start the training. So guys, now let's start the training. You can see I'm executing this command YOLO task is equal to detect more is equal to train. And this is the data location I'm giving. Okay. And this model actually will be doing the fine tuning. Like So this model actually will be doing the fine tuning YOLO 11NPT model. You can see it is having model two. So this model actually we are fine tuning. Okay. So you can start the training. So what you can do guys, you can increase the epoch size. So as of now, let's train only uh, 10 epoch okay because it will take time um, i already trained one model guys let me show you so in my local machine it is available so here let me show you my model so guys you can see i already trained one model okay base.pt so this model i trained around uh, 200 epoch so in case actually what you can do you can mention 200 epoch or 300 epoch okay but just to show you in this video i'm training 10 epoch okay just to complete this training quickly okay and this is the default image size you have to give because this image size they use during the training now if i execute you will see that tra my training will start so it will download the model it will load the data then it will start the training so guys you can see my training has started so one epoch is going on and you can see the box losses class losses okay everything now let's try to wait uh, once training is complete and I will come back and I will show you the like uh, some evaluation matrices as well. Then we'll download the model and we'll do the real time uh, detection with the help of our web camera. So my training is completed. Now let's do the like, uh, so guys, you can see my training is completed and here you can see the MAP score mean average position. Now let me show you some uh, like uh, evaluation matrices. So if you want to see the multi-class confusion matrix, so it is available inside runs folder. You can see runs folder has created inside that detect and train. 
and he said wait i'm having my train model okay this is the train model so you have to download this model just try to click here and download this model guys okay because we have to use this model in our local machine and here are all the evaluation matrices graph now let me plot some of them and let me show you so this is the confusion matrix multi-class confusion matrix and this is the levels okay like how many levels you are having here you can see uh, this is the level distribution that means uh, we have uh, discussed actually a very less image okay in my uh, data set then surprise okay and almost all the data you can see it is in a similar distribution now if you want to see the uh, results that means the losses and map score you can see uh, this is the losses is decreasing and map is increasing that means your model is learning uh, well if you uh, increasing the epoch size you will see that your model will learn better now let me show you some batch images as well so these are some batch images and if you want to see some batch prediction image so these are some batch prediction images okay now what i will do i'll uh, first of all validate on top of my test data because you can see i also have the test data okay so let's see the model performance so here i'm executing so i'm giving my base.pt location okay from this folder and i'm giving my test data location okay now you can see it is loading the test data and it will do the validation and here it will give uh, it will give you the matrices like map score okay you can see the map score so map score should be close to one okay that means your model is learning okay with respect to all the level now let's do the uh, inference okay inference on top of my test data okay so here is the command guys yolo task detect mode is equal to predict and here i'm giving my train model location then this is the source is equal to i'm giving my test uh, image okay and save is equal to true now let me execute so you will see that it will load all the test image and it will do the detection on top of it and it will save inside runs folder see done if i open the runs you can see the prediction inside prediction all of the prediction prediction images uh, image is saved now let me show you some of them so if you execute this command uh, so if you execute this code it will load uh, some of the let's say predicted images from the folder and it will show you here you can see guys it is happy uh, fair okay angry and why a double uh, detection is coming because we already uh, uh, because i already trained like this uh, model with 50 epochs so if you're increasing the epoch size you will see that uh, it would be pretty good detection okay now see my model is able to detect although i have trained 50 epoch now you have to train 300 epoch guys okay whenever you are training just try to train 300 epoch after that just try to download the model and here you can use this particular code okay you can see guys i've already prepared the code let me open up my vs code here so in the readme file i already mentioned all the command okay you have to execute so first of all you have to create a environment with the help of python 3.10 so this is the command just try to copy and try to execute in your terminal okay that's it so for me i already created i'm not going to execute then after that you have to activate the environment okay just try to activate after that you will see the facial then try to install the alternatives okay just copy the command and try to execute here it will install the alternatives okay once everything is done okay once everything is done open the main.py and here you just need to keep your base.pt model and inside that you just need to mention and source is equal to zero means i want to utilize my live camera that's if you have a video file that time you can give the video file location if you have an image that time you can give the image location but i want to use my live web camera so that's why i've given source is equal to zero okay if you have multiple camera that time you can also change the uh, source id got it but by default it uh, if you give zero it will take the web camera okay so now what i will do i will uh, uh, stop my camera okay in the recording and i will uh, execute this code and it will open up my camera it will do the real time detection let me show you so i have uh, closed my camera now let me open up my terminal and let me execute this command called python main.py so guys you can see uh, it has started my camera and it is doing the live detection now see if i show the face like that it is detecting happy okay it is detecting happy and if i let's say change the um, okay i'm not sure like how to show the set but uh, let me stop the execution okay you can try actually with different different images so i think i already showed you now so different different images gas share so from here you can try okay whether it's a sad image okay you can uh, make the face like that and you can uh, do that detection okay and again i told you guys uh, this is not the exact way to the facial emotion detection so for this we have to use the face embedding model so detection model sometimes it won't be giving you the good accuracy okay but at least you can do this kinds of project okay and it is fun okay with the help of yellow 11 we can perform it so yes guys i hope you like this implementation and uh, it was helpful 
So please try to support the channel, try to subscribe and try to share with your friends and family. With that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.